Good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the Xavier Wing of the studios of WCLG. Uh, Xavier Wing, uh, uh, named because uh, my son goes to school at Xavier University in Cincinnati, and we named this wing after him. Anyway, today's lecture subjects are the Uniform Commercial Code, or, as everybody calls it, the UC. C. Okay? Remember, in the last few lectures, we were talking about common law contracts. The, uh, but this lecture is about the Uniform Commercial Code. The Uniform Commercial Code was set up by uh, the states to make uniform the laws of commercial sales in the United States. In the, in the textbook, the chapter is called sales and leases. We're not going to talk about leases, except to the extent that if you do a lease for your business, you should know that it is always stacked against you. The lease contracts are always stacked against you, and you will have to pay the lease payments no matter what happens to the products that you're leasing. For example, a big copier for your office. But we're going to talk about chapter uh, in the chapter, we're going to talk about sales instead of leases. If you want to know more about leases, you can read it in the, in the, uh, in the textbook chapter. The Uniform Commercial Code has been adopted in all states. And even though it says it's uniform, it is, generally speaking, a little bit different in every state. So you need to pay attention to the Uniform Commercial Code in your state. Article 2 refers to the sale of goods in the Uniform Commercial Code. It's the sale of goods. It's not services. It's not real property or real estate. It is the sale of goods. Also, it's not intellectual property. So we talked about intellectual property some time ago. But the Uniform Commercial Code does not talk about that. It's the sale of goods. And goods are tangible and movable. That is, you can touch them and you can move them. For example, buying a car load, a box car load of markers is under the UCC because they're goods and they're tangible and you can move them around. Also, the Uniform Commercial Code puts out commercial regulations regarding merchants. And merchants is an important concept in the commercial code. Merchants are people that meet one of three criteria. Merchants are people that deal in the kinds of goods that we're talking about. Or, merchants are people who by occupation hold themselves out with specialized knowledge about those particular goods. Or, a merchant is a person who has hired somebody that is a merchant. So if you are a person that wants to buy and sell goods and don't know anything about them, but you hire somebody that knows about those goods, then you're also considered a merchant because you've hired somebody that is a merchant. Another thing that we're going to talk about, or another thing that's extremely important in the uh, Uniform Commercial Code is the phrase, unless otherwise agreed. Merchants or anybody selling movable, tangible goods is free to put virtually anything they want to in their contract. But if you don't put it in your contract, the Uniform Commercial Code controls. So the phrase, unless otherwise agreed, means that you can do what you want to in your contract as long as the other side agrees, of course. A contract in, under the Uniform Commercial Code um, applies if you do not say what you want to about the stuff in the contract, then the Uniform Commercial Code applies, except for one particular item. You must, in your contract between you and the other party, identify the quantity 
of the goods. For example, if you don't say how the goods are going to be shipped, the Uniform Commercial Code says how. If you don't say what the prices are, the Uniform Commercial Code says how you're going to determine the price. The only thing that the parties have to say is the quantity. The quantity of the product must be stated or you will not have a contract. There are two exceptions about that. The first exception is a requirements contract where one party agrees to buy all of their necessary goods from a seller. That is, they buy all of their requirements for these goods from that particular seller. The other exception to the quantity statement is an output contract. That is, the seller agrees to sell all of its output to the particular buyer. So remember, the exception to the quantity provision of the Uniform Commercial Code relating to contracts is a requirements contract and an output contract. That's the end of this lecture. We'll be back and talk about uh, offering acceptance in our next lecture. Thank you.